Welcome to my channel. Hi, my name's Bill, aka Billy Goat, and this is the 2022 Billy Goat Lawn Service Command Center. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to give you a little tour of our office. Uh, this used to be my stepdaughter's bedroom when she was growing up here and uh, she's uh, out on her own, got her own uh, husband, her own kids, her own house. So uh, we took her room and uh, converted it uh, to our little operations center, uh, if you want to call it. And we, uh, before this, I used to uh, have a... Um, when I was part-time, I used to have a five by nine uh, little um, closet area as the office. But since then, now that we're full-time, um, we've, uh, you know, needed the uh, extra space. And, you know, now that Michelle's, uh, you know, part of the, um, you know, operations of, of the business. On her desk, she's got a uh, personal PC. Uh, here that uh, she uses for you know her own uh, personal use and she you know plays games and such on here and uh, takes care of her you know her personal finances and, and such so and if you uh, notice here she's a uh, if you didn't realize she's a Rick Springfield fan so you'll see that on uh, on her desk here and she also has a um, a laptop here and, and the laptop is for the uh, business um, so she uh, uses uh, um, keeps logs of our uh, customers and the uh, payments and um, you know the scheduling um, you know stuff on on here so uh, that's her desk and as we pan around uh, we have uh, two boards uh, next to her uh, this board here um, is a uh, list of customers that actually, um, you know, owe us money. Now, um, now this is, we're in the beginning of uh, February here, so um, we only have two uh, customers that, um, that owe us some money, and we'll have to um, follow up with them and, and see what's going on. The next board here is our, like our little reminder project board uh that customers um you know ask us um you know do little things and we kind of write them up here as a as a reminder so uh here's a little thing if i'm not sure if you know um this here is uh if you measure a yard of of, of mulch um it's actually if you get the two uh cubic bag um from you know like lowe's or home depot it's actually 13.5 bags uh, per yard of mulch, if you, if you didn't know that. So, um, moving on, we got the um, filing cabinet here. This is the business uh, filing cabinet with a, um, this here is a printer. It's a uh, laser printer. I recommend if you uh, run in a business, uh, at least get yourself a, a small um, laser printer versus a uh, inkjet. Uh, it's so much cheaper to operate a, um, a laser uh, printer toner cartridge versus the uh, those inkjet uh, color uh, cartridges. So, and the way what 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 this is here, if you see this uh, switch thing here, um, there's four switches, and each switch represents each computer. So you know I have my computer. Uh, I have my laptop, Michelle's uh, PC, and then uh, Michelle's uh, uh, laptop, you know, so we can just hit the button accordingly um, to whatever, um, you know, PC or laptop we're doing, and we can print out uh, things onto this printer right here. All right, above the printer here, we have uh, wall organizers, uh, three sections. And as we print stuff off the printer, we try to uh, put things away so we can keep things, uh, 
you know, organized. So the first uh, one is the uh, request form. Now this is when customers get on our website and they fill out a request form. Uh, we'll print those out and uh, we'll uh, stick them up here. Now, surprisingly, uh, you can see that there's uh, um, quite a few on there. Um, it actually takes us, uh, probably we go through 10, 10 requests before we find a, uh, a customer that, that, that kind of fits uh, what we're, uh, you know, our targeted um, clients. So, and then the, uh, we have receipts. Uh, they're like, you know, packing slips and stuff. And then we have just the, uh, um, you know, miscellaneous for other things. Uh, and here, if, you know, we'll just see what this is here. Uh, put this away. If you notice, this here is a actual, um, the receipt from getting a, um, a next door. I, I got a next door deal. Um, it was uh, $10 and uh, 48 cents, which reached, uh, 3,200 people, and it's for uh, 30 days, 13 neighborhoods, and um, it was uh, uh, billed to the uh, business credit card. Now, you take these uh, receipts, and we put them in, we put them right into the files. Now, these files here, um, what's nice about this is if you're, you know, if you're a sole proprietor, and you do what they call a, a Schedule C, um, every all your expenses are uh, you know broken down so what I did was I took each uh, section um, on that and I made its own file associated with it so for this this is considered advertising so there's a uh, folder for uh, advertising so if I go uh, here there's an advertising folder and I just put them in there trying to do this with one hand um, you put that in there and it's it's filed away and we got um, pretty much uh, everything so we got like our liability insurance here uh, you know the credit card um, if people are or um, you know giving us credit card authorization form it's a copy of them giving us uh, permission to uh, charge their card um, we have the uh, gross sales, advertising, the truck expenses, the business uh, insurance, the um, you know the premiums that we pay, uh, office expenses, rent, um, the equipment repair, supply, travel, telephone, um, the website, safety gear, hand tools, equipment purchases, uh, equipment gas, uniforms. I mean, it's all it's all on the Schedule C. And what's nice is this makes it really easy for your accountant um, slash, uh, you know, your tax preparer um, if everything's already uh, organized for them. Now, we, we, we really lucked out with our, um, we got a tax specialist and we kind of lucked out because we can get our personal taxes done and our business taxes done for only $200. And the reason why is because everything already uh been tallied up so we i take all the receipts and tally them up and um so at the end of the year uh, i pull all these folders out and follow them away now these are the 2022s and i just pulled the um the, the 2021s are down there so these are um you know just in case the our tax preparer uh specialist uh needs to verify anything um you know, I got all the receipts, so. All right, moving on to my side of the uh, room. I have, uh, you know, my desk here, and above uh, that on the wall, I have four uh, dry erase uh, boards up here. And if you uh, see here, it's a, uh, it's almost, it's like a calendar. Um, it's actually our schedule. I like to... Uh, be visual. I, I'm a visual person like, you know, I like the old-fashioned clock um, and it's the same uh, when it comes to, you know, our, our schedule here. I like to glance and, and see uh, what's going on. So um, it's just a, a mind thing that, that works great for me and, um, you know, it actually, uh, Michelle uh, likes it as well. So 
Um, I like to know what's going on the the uh, you know the week of and then the the week after and then uh, you know two weeks uh, out um, at pretty much any any given time. Right now it's the uh, beginning of uh, February and here uh, I got the schedule starting. We we start mowing in uh, on April in the beginning of April so. Um, as far as our mowing customers, um, right now we have, if, if everyone, uh, re-signs, um, we got a couple, uh, customers that, uh, we raised the prices on, so, um, we'll have to, uh, they'll either need to get with us or we need to get with them to see if, uh, if they want to renew. So, but if we keep everybody, um, it's actually, uh, 64, um, we have 64, uh, mowing uh, slots uh, that we like to uh, fill um, at the beginning of the year um, and I'll explain uh, why uh, we have this uh, set up like this um, um, it's really uh, it's it's not complicated it just it's strange we we don't have a normal um, you know weekly bi-weekly um, scheduling we do a what they call a 10 to 14 day um, rolling uh, window type uh, scheduling so um, that's really why I really like you know having this board because I can really uh, keep track of what's going on and I'll uh, explain that more um, in a future video uh, how we do our, our our scheduling and that's one reason why um, we um, have to pre-screen uh, customers because a lot, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like the, you know, the every 10 day, every, you know, 10 to 14 day. They they like either, you know, weekly or bi-weekly. Now, this last board here, there's, um, I don't know, 15, 16 um, customers here. Uh, they're not, uh, they're not regular mowing customers. They're, they're a variety of things. They're like call-ins. Um, they're uh, leaf removal um, you know, only, or, uh, we just do special, um, you know, projects or, you know, jobs for them. And, uh, we can put them, you know, on the schedule, um, on a, um, call-in basis. So, and then also I have, uh, uh, Randy here of, uh, dual and cut and trim. So, you know, he's a, uh, a friend slash, uh, network, uh, partner, um, you know, be sure to check out uh, his uh, YouTube channel um, at uh, Dual and Cut and Trim. And also my buddy Carlo, uh, he's another friend slash uh, um, partner, uh, network partner. And um, he's got his web, uh, his YouTube channel also. It's the uh, the Cutting Force. So you know we're, you know we help each other out um, when we can and. Um, if uh, if they call on me, uh, I'll put them uh, on the schedule uh, accordingly um, if the, if they need my help. The last thing on this board uh, is a flyer from our the garden center that we uh, get our supplies from. Um, it's from uh, Hemmels, uh, their landscape and garden center. They're located in uh, Pasadena, Maryland. And at the end, at the end of uh, 100, there's in, in Mountain Road. So, what I really like about them, um, you know, going there, um, there's a couple of different reasons. Um, if you see here, if you get mulch in, in um, you know, topsoil or, or you know, if you get um, river rock or stone, whatever, they sell it by the yard and the half yard. So. That really nice because sometimes you know when you um, estimate a job and it's not you know it's just a little over uh, a yard of mulch and you know you uh, have to buy you know two yards or whatever you can you can just buy it by the half yard so you can just get one and a half yards instead of uh, you know getting two yards so I really like that and also uh, they also uh, have um, uh, red mulch so you know most uh places around here don't don't offer red mulch and we do have a couple customers that like uh you know red mulch so and it has the associated prices and then uh 
if you want it um, either pick up you know pick up is free or you know if you're getting quantities you can actually have it delivered uh, locally for uh, 35 and if it's a little further out uh, 45 so that that's you know you can't you can't beat those prices so that was actually last uh, 2021 prices so I'm sure I'm not sure if the in, in, uh, having um, the inflation that you know the 2022 prices may may be a little higher here is my my desk. Uh, it's pretty much set up the same way as uh, Michelle's. Uh, I got my my personal PC and I uh, got the business uh, laptop and um, and I also have the um, a two line uh, phone. Uh, Michelle also has it um, on on her or her desk as well. Uh, we're old school and. Uh, Line one is actually our, our home phone uh, landline. We actually got the old-fashioned landline still since we've been living here in uh, 2002. And uh, we like to, you know, have that and give that to people who, uh, you know, we really don't want them to use our, uh, our have our cell phone number, our personal cell phone number. We'll, we'll give them our house number and let the, uh, let the answer machine uh, pick up on them. So... And then uh, we have a line two, which is our business uh, phone. Um, we like to keep that separated as well. Um, this is actually a Magic Jack uh, number, um, and they're extremely affordable. You, you know, the last uh, couple years, it's only been, uh, I guess, uh, you know, a hundred dollars for for five years. Um, I'm sure it might be a little bit more now, but. Um, you know, we use that as our as our business uh, line, and uh, you know, it also has a um, answering uh, service as well. And you can also um, have an app for your for your smartphone, and you can access your Magic Jack number, either make calls, receive calls, and even uh, text uh, on your uh, cell phone. So that's that's really. Really nice. It's something to look into if you don't like giving your uh, personal uh, cell phone out to uh, people or uh, you know your your customers. So moving on, uh, I got the old traditional uh, wall calendar. Like you see, I like the old visual uh, concept. Um, you know, for you know what's what's going up uh, for you know weeks to come. So and then up here, I got a certificate. Uh, from a uh, small engine repair class that I took uh, two years ago. Um, I highly recommend if you, uh, you know, have a uh, mower uh, business or other uh, business that, you know, has chainsaw small engines, um, you know, to take a uh, community uh, course because uh, you'll really learn a lot uh, from that. Uh, especially with the troubleshooting uh, aspect of it, um, because it is very irritating if you, you know, especially, you know, if you got something new um, from a dealer and you're having problems with it, you know, you can troubleshoot it yourself to kind of narrow down uh, what's going on, and um, I, you can save yourself a lot of headache uh, from having to, you know, drop off your equipment at the dealer, and who knows how long it takes for them to, uh, you know, look at your machine. So. It's something that uh, you might want to, you know, consider. Uh, it'll be a great help, uh, you know, a stress reliever, we'll put it that way. So uh, here is the uh, closet. And in the closet, we have uh, this here uh, PC is actually my personal PC. I'd like to, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know if it's, you know, times have changed, but I'd like to, you know, have a, a server, uh, a server PC, because I can put in uh, removable drives, and I wanted to, uh, you know, as far as you know, having backups, you know, it would back up to both, uh, you know, hard drives, and if something ever happened, you know, you know, as far as a failure with the PC or one of the hard drives, I, I got all the information, uh, you know, backed up uh, on a hard drive and. And, uh, you know, that way I can, you know, hopefully restore, uh, at least from the, from the last backup. So, and here is a, uh, hand, uh, label printer that I use for, 
you know, the labels and, uh, you know, putting names on the, uh, you know, our customers uh, up on the board there. So, and then we have uh, the inkjet uh, printer as well. Um, this is a color one. Uh, sometimes you want to print something out in color, um, but it's very rare. But at least I have it if if I uh, needed to. So I mean, you know, on here I I still you know use the um, you know the black cartridge to uh, you know print out. And it's also a scanner um, copy machine, so it's nice. You know, if you want to put something in here and hit copy, it'll you know act as a copy machine. So that that's uh, you know really nice. So moving up to the next shelf here. We have, uh, I have a scale over here that I use from time to time if I'm, you know, shipping out a small package or, um, you know, box or something. Um, you know, I can, uh, I got uh, packing uh, material in here. I got the, um, you know, the tape, you know, tape up the box, you know, so. And then uh, we got postcards. Uh, we do our own, um, kind of our own direct uh, mail um thing with you know we, we really target um you know where we send our postcards you know as far as neighborhoods and stuff and um you know we don't usually we don't use the uh the postal service uh their their direct marketing you know we don't use that so and we got uh, address labels here um we got uh what i do is these are jackets for the, uh, the postcards can fit in the jackets and you can use them as uh, door hangers. So, And then we have a variety of um, um, envelopes uh, that we use. Uh, some old school uh, customers, you know, they, they like the old physical, um, you know, invoice, and which is fine, you know, I mean, hey, I don't, it doesn't bother me, you know, how I get paid as long as I get paid, so. And we also uh, mail out um, newsletters every every season. Uh, we let our customers know what's going on and uh, what to expect, you know, for the next uh, for the next season. So, uh, as far as the new newsletters, we print the the uh, winter ones out in in, in white paper. Uh, spring is green, uh, summer is yellow, and the fall is uh, orange. And we've also got uh, the, the carbon copy, yellow, white uh, carbon copy uh, paper for customers if they're signing an agreement or a contract uh, or a, a credit card authorization. Uh, we'll get the original and, and they, they get the, um, the carbon copy. And then also we have uh, you know, shipping labels if we're shipping something out. And then we print our own um, business cards. Um, I don't give out a lot of business cards. I'm real selective, um, you know, giving out business cards. But if somebody, you know, really wants one, I'll, uh, you know, I'll give them a business card. So, alrighty, this is uh, this is pretty much it for the closet. Uh, appreciate you watching, um, and uh, hope you enjoyed the tour of our office and um you know if anybody wants uh me to do some more detail on um you know things that you know i kind of skimmed across here you know i can uh you know make a a separate video i'm sure i'll probably get some uh comments uh on our our uh, rolling uh 10 to 14 day uh schedule uh uh process um we do that because it is a pretty much a stress-free uh, scheduling, um, and I don't like to be, uh, you know, stressed out all week trying to, you know, get the mowing list done. And the way we we do it, it's very, uh, you know, it, it works for us. Um, and you know, it might not work for others, but um, it definitely works for us. And I'll be, you know, happy to show you how we, you know, how we uh, do our scheduling. So. Like I say, I appreciate you watching, and um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll check you out in the next video. See ya.